Now to an update on a story we broke Friday night. A parent in the Gananda School District facing multiple charges after allegedly assaulting a bus monitor over her son not wearing a mask before getting on the bus. Alex Love has new details after going through the police report and speaking to both the school district and the attorney for the parent in this case. So, Alex, what do we learn? Adam, 35-year-old Lane Mulgee is being charged with harassment in the second degree and endangering the welfare of a child. All this from what police called a physical altercation because her son tried to get on the bus without wearing a mask. A Friday morning at the bus stop took a troubling turn. A Macedon police report says Lane Mulgee assaulted a bus monitor after they got into a heated argument over her son trying to get on the bus without a mask on, despite district policy. It's very stressful for bus drivers and bus monitors who are working in a confined location with students inside a van or inside a bus. They're reliant on everyone wearing masks so that everyone can be safe. The state does allow exceptions for students who have physical or medical conditions preventing them from keeping a mask on. Attorney Chad Hummel, who represents Mulgee, would not comment on who started the fight, but argues the elementary school age boy falls into that category. She had uh, discussions with the school district um, prior to this incident. All of those special needs are documented with the school district. They're aware. It's honestly quite disturbing to my client that her son's needs were not taken into consideration. The Macedon police report goes on to say Mulgee encouraged her son to also punch the bus monitor during the altercation. The district said the employee is okay and there are better ways to solve any misunderstandings on who's exempt from wearing masks. We do have students that have exceptions to mask wearing that have gotten notes from doctors providing that. Typically it's talking to the building principal or talking to the special ed director, but there are other ways to handle this. Since this incident occurred Friday morning, support for bus drivers and monitors in the district have been pouring in from the community with balloons on the side of roads and breakfast being delivered for transportation staff. Lane Mulgee was transported to the Wayne County Jail after being arrested, where she was later released on her own recognizance. A GoFundMe page has been set up in her support to pay for legal fees. Since this afternoon, it's raised over $1,600. In the newsroom, Alex Love, News 8. Alex, thank you. By the way, not all buses, we're told, in the Gananda School District have surveillance cameras. Superintendent Van Scoy says he's not sure if this incident was captured on video.